Tilosi longalis. Tilosi longalis is a species of beetle in the family of checkered beetles clarity. It is found in the Palearctic. Their holes in the German common name Holzbund Kiefer indicates that these checkered beetles are found in wood. Although Tilus elongatus can reach up to a size of one centimetre long, the beetle is rarely seen by humans as it primarily resides hidden in the wood of trees. The coloration of the males differs from that of the females. Name and classification. The earliest known systematic record of the species is by Carolus Linnaeus in 1758. It is listed in the 10th edition of his System and Atchery under genus Chrysomla, number 78, as Chrysomla elongata atro, Thores ruber sibilosola, elongated black Chrysomla, red chest moderately hairy. This explains the epithet elongata. After Fabricius established the genus Lagria, Olivia, in 1790, placed the species in the genus Tillis. Five species of this genus have been identified in Europe. All of their reasons solely based on anatomical features that the beetle could not belong to either the leaf beetles Chrysum Ladeo or Telagrini. Anatomy Tillis elongatus reaches lengths of 7 to 10 millimetres. The body of the male is especially long and cylindrical. In contrast, in most checkered beetles, Tillis elongatus is plainly coloured. The male is uniformly black. The female, on the other hand, has a reddish brown pronotum and bluish black elytra. In rare cases, the base of the pronotum of the male is also completely or partially red. The elytra of the female are less parallel than those of the male. On the top side of both sexes are long, slanted hairs. The hairs are coarse and black. The pronotum and elytra may have transverse white spots. The head is slightly wider than the neck. The mouth parts point downwards. The mandible is bidentate at the tip. The three segmented labial palpi are more powerful than the maxillary palpi. The end segment of the first maxilla broadens into an axe or shuffle shape, while the end segment of the labium gradually elongates to a point. The round eyes are near the pronotum. The third segment and onward of the powerful antennae are serrated on the inner side, while the second segment is small and round. The pronotum is distinctly narrower than the elytra. It is cylindrical, round and not bordered on the side. The elytra might not cover the last, the dominal segment. The elytra are dotted nearly all the way to the tip with simple punctures. The coxae of the front legs are close to each other and are protruding cones. The cavities of the front coxae are open in the back but closed inside. To somewhat accommodate the femurs, the back coxae are not bulged. They are on the same level as the first abdominal sternite. The abdomen has six visible abdominal plates. The tarsi are all distinctly five segmented. The first tarsomer extends into a soul like structure. All of the tarsomers except for the fifth are more or less formed like little pouches that partially enclose the base of the preceding tarsomer. The claws bear large teeth that make them a pace bit. Living habits. The heat-loving species is found in old deciduous and mixed forests, as well as in parks. They are usually found in forest edges or in clear cuts on some exposed chunks of hardwoods with insect infestation. They are also found in flowering bushes and on flowering lime trees. The females have a well-formed oviposter, which they use to lay eggs in wood cracks or in the emergence holes of other insects living in the wood. The oblong larvae hunt larvae of other insects living in the wood, especially the larvae of tinnidae. With the claws and two chitin hooks at the end of the body, the telecylongata larva can also work its way into larval tunnels blocked with debris from boring insects. Often, bore debris is pushed out of the passages. The larva can also bite its way into neighbouring tunnels with its mouth parts if the dividing walls are thin. At night, the larva can leave the tunnel system and crawl into a distant emergence hole on the surface of the wood and thus occupy new passages. Before pupation, the larva widens a dead-end passage into a cradle for the pupa. The adults can be found in May and June. More likely to be seen are females at night on old deciduous trees. Distribution The species is widespread in Western Europe. However, some of the countries do not have occurrence data. The occurrence of Tillesilon got in Eastern Europe is uncertain. Literature. Heinz Rod, Carl Wilhelm Hod, Gustav Adolf Loos, Diagephra Mitteleuropas. Band 6, Diversa Cornea. Spectrum, Heidelberg 1979. Gustav Jeharis Jeber Celsus. G. Calwes Gaffer Butch. Tilden. Lenemans, Stuttgart 1876. 3. All Flood Class Cock, Diagephra Mitteleuropas Ecology. 1. All Flourish. Dant. 2. Goken Evers, Greffield, 1989. Ling Nizar, 1959. Eichtig also over Tillis Elongatus in Norsk Entomologist Tidskrift, 1959 BD. 1116 Oslo. Weblinks. 
Photo death mentions. Category, Clary D category. Beetles described in 1758 category. Taxa named by Colinius.